Hello everyone and welcome back to Little Shop of Laura. Today I'm gonna show you how to make mustache and eyebrows and the hair. Here's the material to needs. You need 4.50 millimeters and 6 millimeters crochet hook, scissors, needle, white flat gemstone, black marker, and yarn color needs is black or a dark brown yarn and a coffee brown yarn. And that's all we got. Let's continue working on Mario and Mikurumi. For the eyebrows, with the black yarn and the dark brown, make a two, make a slip knot, and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then to slip a stitch in the second chain. One and two. You can do fast enough. Leave a short tail. We don't need this so we can cut the yarn. And that's the eyebrows. For the mustache with the black yarn or the dark brown, and we're gonna do that to make a slip knot. And then chain 14. And now for the one slip stitch. One slip stitch, one half double crochet, and one single crochet in the same point. Repeat the same five more times until the end. After one half double crochet, I got one single crochet for the last one in the same point. And finish off, fast enough, cut the yarn, and leave a long tail. Because I'm going to the sew it the, under the nose. Let's tie it up, make a double knotted to make all the secured. And that's the mustache. Okay, guys, I already working on the circle. I did not go to record that because it was a long video. Now I'm going to show you what's a different way to do that. Round eight, 13 single crochet and one increase three times. One. And this is going to be 45 two, points. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, sorry about that, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. One increase. This is forty five points. And now round nine to fourteen, forty five single crochet. Stitching around in the same. This is the forty five points. In round 15, first you're gonna do chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then one slip a stitch. Three single crochet. One, two, and three. And then we can have a skip one point. I will not go into to put the single crochet. I can do for the skip the point right here. And then 20 single crochet. One, two, three, four. 
Repeat the same one more time until he finished. This is the last round. And then for the last one is a one single crochet after 19 and 20 and then fast enough take off the stitch mark cut the yarn and leave a long tail to sew it around the head and that is the mario hair and now i'm going to the sew it on the head which is, I'm going to do, make it a straight over here. This head forward has to go high. And the back of the head needs to be low right there for that. I'm going to use the needle. And I'm going to show you what it's going to be look like. Just go all around to the sew and then take in the loop in the center. And that's what it is going to do. I'm going to do the go to the sew over here. And then also we're going to do right here and all the way in there around. We'll be right back just a few minutes. All right, I already finished. I just got to have a, still have a long tail with a brown yarn. And now we can do to make the hair bang. Just take a crochet hook, which is a 4.50 millimeters. And then we can take the brown yarn and one, two, three, and then one single crochet and two single crochet and then for the next stitch is the front post and then chain three again and two single crochet it's gonna have like a three parts of the hair the three pieces of hair in the front of the hair bangs And now we can go the other way, right next to the middle of the hair. As you know, all I had to do, I had to make a straight. And then chain three again. And two single crochet. And that's it. That is the third hair pieces. And now I'm going to the sew of the nose and right in the center of the face. And then it started from the neck and then round seven to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or the seven over here, then right in the center of the face. Now go ahead and sew the nose in the middle of the face. Take the needle and make a stitch in the round and right in the center of the face, that nose it hits to the stitch in the round.
And that's a Mario nose. And now I'm going to make the ears. It has to go right at the side of the body to make it under the hair. We'll be right back. All right, I already finished uh, making the right ear. And now I'm going to working on the left ear. Take the needle first. And then sew it in the front of the ear. And now we can go working on the behind the ear. Now we get to finish off, and that's it. You can cut it off. And that's Mario ears. Now I'm going to put the mustache right the under the nose. You can take the needle, and also you can do the glue gun if you want to stay the mustache. Now sew the nose under. You have to finish the sewing around the under the nose. We'll be right back for a minute. Okay, so I already finished this mustache and I already put the eyes and the eyebrows in a pan and now we can working on the glue gun, but it's not ready for the warming up yet because I just have to wait for that. We'll be right back just a little bit for a minute. Okay, the glue gun is ready to warm up. Now let's put the um, right to using the stick with that. Be careful not to burn yourself. Then take off the pin. So don't use too much glue because I don't want to get pins get stuck. And then take off the pin. So I know what we're going to do is the eyebrows. A right E above the eyes. After we finish that, I need to still need to stick together with this black string. A little bit more. And that's it. Okie doke, so I'm going to use the flat gemstone. You can use the glue gun, whatever you want. Or you can also, you can use adhesive glue. Just make sure I need to put the white flat gemstone on the eye color a little bit higher. That's why it looks like that. And now we can use the black marker. Or you can have a uh, black fabric paint, whatever you want, or the black gemstone. And that's it. We're all done. Here's the results of the Mario face. 
Oh my goodness. Love it. Very cute. That's it for today. I made a mustache and the eyebrows and the hair. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to activate the bell and share the video with your friends. By activating the bell, you will receive the notification of the new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next part video. Bye-bye!